Yo, what's up guys? At some point, you've probably been injured and had to halt your training. Today in the video, we'll look at routines that you can follow to prevent further injury while still maintaining your strength and conditioning. So let's get started. A couple things to note before we get into training are your pain levels when you're at rest and your active range of motion. If you have pain when you're sleeping or lying down, then you need to ice and give your body time to recover. This also goes for simple movements. Can you move around pain free? Reach up, bend over, twist side to side, bend and flex your legs. After you check off those markers, then you're good to implement some training. We want to prevent aggravation to the injury area when training. Therefore, identifying the movements that cause the pain and working around them is important. I'll use my current injury as an example. I have a small tear in my intercostal muscle. I'm trained to reach a sub 5 minute mile so conditioning is important. I've identified that fast twisting, running, and heavy breathing aggravates that muscle. So instead of running, I use the stationary bike. This helps with less bounce and quick movements in my torso area. I'm still maintaining and improving my conditioning while allowing the muscle to recover. It is also important to do stretches and work on activating the injured muscle, bringing fresh blood to the area and potentially increasing recovery time. Stretching with, with my hands above my head and light twists side to side encourage blood flow to that area and release some tension in the area. That being said, it can be frustrating to train when injured. You can't do certain movements, you feel like you're regressing, and you lose discipline in your training regimen. Instead of looking at your injury as a setback, figure out how to improve other areas of your training. Implement exercises that will not only allow you to maintain your strength and conditioning, but potentially improve it as you continue your recovery process. In conclusion, it is important to identify the muscle or target area where the injury has occurred. You can continue training, but you need to be careful that you are not aggravating that area. Testing yourself with simple stretches and range of motion exercises will allow you to understand your pain level. That being said, if you're struggling with an injury, I wish you a speedy recovery. Thanks for watching the video, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Have a good day, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.